Mel Gibson was born in Peekskill, New York, on January 3, 1956. He moved in his youth to live in Australia and became a professional in film acting. After appearing in the Mad Max and Lethal Weapon series, he then starred in the film directed by Braveheart. He later won an Oscar for directing the biblical drama The Passion of the Christ, the historical action film Apocalypto and the World War II drama Hacksaw Ridge, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Direction. Actor, director and producer Mel Columcille Gerard Gibson was born on January 3, 1956 in Peekskill, New York, the sixth of eleven children of Hutton Gibson and Ann Gibson, a Catholic of Irish descent, at the start of the Vietnamese-American War. The father moved his family to Australia, fearing that his children would ask to participate in the war. Mel spent the remainder of his childhood in Sydney, where he attended St. Leo's Catholic College, a secondary school for Catholic boys. He finished his high school studies at Asquith High School in Asquith within New South Wales State, Australia. After graduating from high school, he had considered becoming a chef or a journalist but took a very different path after his sister applied on his behalf to the National Institute of Dramatic Art in Sydney. He decided that he would audition without any prior acting experience, as he was accepted and enroll. Not long after, he made his debut in the theatrical production of Romeo and Juliet, which was produced at the National Institute of Dramatic Art, NIDA, while his first appearance on screens was through the movie Summer City in 1977. After graduating from the Institute in the same year, he joined the Southern Australian Theatre, where he appeared in starring roles in classic productions including Oedipus and Henry IV. Gibson married Robin Moore in 1980, and they had seven children before their relationship ended in divorce in 2009. Shortly after the divorce, Gibson set out again, dating singer Oksana Grigoryva and they had a child shortly before their separation in 2010. After a while short of their separation, Gibson was investigated for domestic violence based on an audio recording of a conversation with him showing that he had made racist words and in Grigoriva, while Gibson admitted that he had slapped Grigoriva with his palm. But he rejected her claim that he had punished and hit her several times. In a 2011 trial, he was released. His right is an unappealable sentence that criminalizes him with domestic violence, and he was sentenced to three years in prison, suspended, a year of which in dialogue about domestic violence and social service, in addition to some fines, and his colleagues in Hollywood denounced his actions as he was abandoned by his agency, William Morris Endeavor Entertainment. In 2016, Gibson's official representative revealed that Gibson and his girlfriend of the last two years, Rosalind Ross, are expecting their ninth child. As for Mel Gibson's religion, beliefs, and sect of origin, he was born into a Catholic Christian family. His net worth in 2017 was estimated at $425 million. In 1995, he won two Academy Awards for Best Actor and Best Director for Braveheart. Mel Gibson performed his first theatrical role while sitting on a chair due to his suffering from stage fright. Mel owns the Healing the Children charity. He has a congenital deformity in his kidneys, as they are attached in the shape of a horseshoe. After mastering the theater, Gibson headed to television, where he played his first roles in the Australian series The Sullivans, 1976-83, then moved to the film business in 1979 as a mad futuristic warrior in Mad Max. And another role as a psychopath who falls in love with Mary Horton as Piper Laurie in Tim. Gibson won his first award from the Australian Film Institute, AFI, for Best Actor for his performance in Tim. In addition, Mad Max became the biggest commercial success of all Australian films released before it, grossing more than $100 million worldwide. Gibson won his second Australian Film Institute Award in 1981 as Best Actor in a Patriot with Distinction in Peter Weir's World War I drama Gallipoli, and returned later the same year to play the leather-clad futuristic hero in Mad Max 2, which was released in the United States later with the title The Road Warrior.
This film succeeded in paving the way for Gibson to the world. And his second work with Peter Weir was The Year of Living Dangerously, 1982, in which he appeared in his first role romance alongside Sigourney Weaver. His debut in the American movie The River in 1984 was considered a great success, as the film was nominated for four Academy Awards including the Best Actress Award for actor Sissy Spacek, and then returned to Australia in 1985 to complete the Mad Max trilogy alongside Tina Turner. Surprisingly, the film was a resounding success. And Gibson's popularity was proven clear when he was featured in People magazine as the sexiest man alive. In 1990, Gibson performed an indescribable performance as a tortured prince in Franco Zeffirelli's Hamlet. And this was the first film that Gibson produced through his new production. The company also produced several other works such as Immortal Beloved, 1993, a biography of the life of the musician Beethoven, and in 1994 she produced the movie Anna Karenina. Based on the novel by Russian writer Leo Tolstoy Anna Karenina. In 1995, Gibson directed his most romantic movie, to this time, Braveheart where he also starred as Sir William Wallace, a Scottish nobleman whose epic events take place in Scotland around the 13th century. This film gave him several Oscars, including Best Actor, Best Cinematography, and Best Director. In the same year, he provided the voice of John Smith in Disney's Pocahontas. In the late 1990s he starred in some crime films, including Ransom, 1996, with René Russo and Gary Sinise. 1997's Conspiracy Theory alongside Julia Roberts and 1999 Low, followed in 2000. The most prominent work was through his role in the movie The Patriot, where he played the role of the opposition patriotic hero during the American Revolution. And in the same year, he starred in the romantic comedy movie What Women Want alongside Helen Hunt, Lauren Holly, and Bette Midler. Gibson returned to directing in 2004 with his ambitious film dealing with the last hours of the life of Jesus Christ under the name The Passion of the Christ. Catholicism and Gibson later stated that the Holy Spirit was doing the film through him, I was just directing the motions. Indicating that he was not the owner of the achievement but the path to it. In December 2006, he presented another historical film entitled Apocalypto which tells the story of the collapse of the Mayan civilization. The film was produced in the Yakutek Mayan language as an original language. And translation was added to it. Ticket Window Shortly after the presentation of The Passion of the Christ, Gibson was accused and criticized as anti-Semitic and racist, and during his arrest in 2006 while drunk driving, he admitted that he had made anti-Semitic statements earlier. And at the same time his problem with alcoholism emerged to three years in prison. Years of probation with alcohol addiction treatment sessions. For the years after the accident, Gibson maintained limited personal relationships. Serving as a producer on the 2008 PBS documentary Another Day in Paradise and as an executive producer on the PBS series Carrier. After several years of directing and producing, Gibson returned to front of cameras in The Edge of Darkness in 2010, playing the role of a detective searching for the cause of his daughter's death. Despite some statements that offended his image, he returned to star in The Beaver alongside Jodie Foster, playing the role of a suicidal man who was exploited but the law failed to improve his image or return him to work, after which Gibson returned to action roles in his next three roles. In Get the Gringo, 2012, Machete Kills, 2013, and The Expendables 3, 2000. In 2016, his thriller The Hacksaw Ridge, which is his first directorial work in the last 10 years, received a shy ovation and applause, as the film is a true story about a conscientious dissident in World War II who ended the case of 75 soldiers who did not fire even a single shot. A modest success at the box office, it won him a Golden Globe Award and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Direction. In 2017, he participated in Daddy's Home 2. In 2018, he participated in Dragged Across Concrete. In 2019, he participated in The Professor and The Madman. And in 2000, he participated in Leo from Toledo. In 2020, 
he participated in several films, namely, Fat Man, Force of Nature, Last Looks, The Very Excellent Mr. Dundee. In 2021, he participated in two films, Boss Level,